Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fire 4, Kai's Vegas South Africa. Let's continue on where we last left off. So, we have fixed Black Monday. It is, it's been solved. Fantastic. Uh, we also allow Bulgaria to win their war, but I didn't realize that one of their options allows them to join Russia, and because they're the Zveno, they don't like the Germans. So they might join Russia, which would be kind of funny for us, because it means that all of that work actually is going to make our one ally weaker. So hopefully, hopefully we can, hopefully that doesn't happen. Because we, we did lose a lot of manpower in that, that I, I really feel like we shouldn't have. Also, CNT is actually starting to win in Spain again, so you know, let's send, let's send a unit back into the country. Let's send one of our green units. Assign you under our best general, we're going to assign you underneath Smuts, which is what I should have done before to get him some experience. And then, Bon Voyage, have fun over there in, in Spain. You're only getting volunteers from Germany. Austria apparently is actually not sending volunteers in here right now. They sent volunteers to the PSA, which is okay. And you said no volunteers to anybody. Maybe we might want to send some volunteers to make Arthur. They have some from Brazil, out of all people. Because Bolivia is now a Chilean puppet state. I don't think Argentina is going to win their war. It's like, it's like we could send volunteers there. But how important is South America going to be? I, I don't really know, honestly. By the way, are you now 97.4, 99.1? I mean, it's still not going to be an easy war in, in Spain. We don't have any planes, right? And I don't think we can deploy any planes either. Because we're not building planes, we're, we're just mostly building heavy tanks. We actually have a lot of artillery pieces. We actually might want to just cancel... You know what? Yeah. I think we're actually going to cancel artillery production. I don't think we're going to need all that artillery right now. And if we need some more in the future, we can always just, you know, switch it over. So I'm, I'm not too concerned about that. Okay. Russia is now invading Central Asia. That's going to give us another 10% here. We're at 57, which means, means the bottom... Actually, still bottom out at 25. Next thing we haven't beamed on Kuban yet. Oh, so Bakara, I think you got a new flag. And your leader now looks substantially older. <laughs> but I think that's okay. Honduras has joined the People's Vanguard. I mean, where do I even send you? I mean, actually, this, this whole situation actually looks pretty bad for us. Uh, I'm gonna put you here, I think. Because who... So it's the People's Vanguard, which is... You two against probably the revolutionaries. We want, of course, we want the, the vanguard to win. And a neutral Central America is better than a socialist um, Central America. We have no 4 to 14. I mean, we got to send volunteers to Greece. I think that's kind of like non negotiable. We're going to send another green division underneath you. Because I would love Greece to be an ally of ours. Or at least not in the international. How much manpower do you guys have? I think it's basically... That's 100,000. But CNT has only like 5,000 manpower. That's interesting to me. Like maybe CNT will actually just kind of... Run into a little bit of a wall. I don't know. And we'll see if Greece can get some volunteers. I'm sure they will. I'm hoping at least. Maybe, maybe Canada would want to support them because they can join the Entente. By the way, how close is the American Union to capitulating? I want to look at the Civil War here for a second. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. They are at 43. They're close. Class of the Union event is very close to firing for them. Well, you know, one province north here. You will arrive on the 17th. So you got about six more days left on you. It seems like they're doing okay. So I'm happy with that. By the way, how long until our tanks ready to deploy? You're still missing a little bit of energy equipment, but really not too much. 
Yeah, let's do this instead. There we go. That should be okay. Where's your supply hub? There it goes. Um, okay, that's actually pretty far away. I'm trying to see what CNT's doing. Like, we gotta keep our eyes on, you know, both of these civil wars. Okay, Crete. I was gonna say Crete should fall. I actually don't know if that's true. I need you here, though. That Greek division is not... He's not gonna last. Try to see if we can get to maybe, like, a situation where CNT doesn't have the manpower to hold on to the entire front. Britain's declared war in Ireland. Shane's declared war in Szechuan. I'm assuming the, um... Actually, apparently Britain invading Ireland does not count towards world tension. Surprisingly, I'm actually going to pull you back because I'm a little bit scared. Yeah, you should be out of there soon. Okay, Greek volunteers. I mean, these guys are not very strong. I'm going to send a little bit of backup. I just want to see what they're up to. 19, 203 defense is pretty good on you. I, I think your only job is making sure they don't bust out here. These other guys, you have supply... Wait. No, you're the same state. You're not the same province. Okay. These units shouldn't have any supplies. You're kind of stuck where you're at. Those are all okay. So I'm sorry, farming. Again, it's not great, but it's going to get us closer towards the good options. As we get a little bit further in here. Okay, next up, research. 1940 heavy tank. Too expensive. I do know we have somewhere in our focus tree to get a cheaper tank division, which we'll probably want to do at some point. Got three Greek divisions here. Of course, you guys can retreat out. That won't be an encirclement here, unfortunately. Okay, I do think CNT is getting pushed back. I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy to see that. And you want to go for the better tanks. I'm, sur I'm surprised. Oh, no, there is an auto design here. Okay, how expensive are you? 16.45. Pretty good armor. Nice breakthrough. Reliability is kind of ass. What are you? What, what is this even? This is a... I don't actually know what that is. Is it a secondary? Oh, it's a heavy machine gun. Okay, I don't think we want that on there. Engine armor. I'm gonna find maybe reducing this a little bit. 15 points. It's, it's slightly more expensive. I think you're like 14. You're 12.25, but again, that's what the 10% reduction cost, right? Actually, I'm, I'm curious. I mean, it doesn't really matter right now. But if we go to... Do we have a heavy tank production? Light tank... Medium tank manufacturer. That actually doesn't just apply to medium tanks. So it does have more breakthrough, though. Yeah, okay, no. You actually probably want to get those guys going. But we, we can worry about that afterwards. Okay, tanks. Auto design. 16.35. I mean, max speed's okay. Put one armor to le less engines. We're going to remove the machine guns from the side. You're the radio, which we probably do want. You're the two-man turret. 14.47. You know what? I will take you. Close support gun. Heavy machine gun. We could put a lot of piercing on it. Because your soft attack, heart attack, soft attack, but I mean, that's a lot of piercing. Less reliable, though. Actually, you know, it's still negative 10. They're both negative 10. You know what? I'm going to put I'm gonna put a lot of piercing on this tank, so it's really good against other tanks. We're going to save that up. Replace you over. Hopefully, that's not going to slow our production down too, too much. 
I mean, it's going to slow it down a little. That that goes without saying. By the way, did anybody support you? Germany and Austria. Okay, fantastic. Of course, Austria, they could join the Austrian sphere as well and not join the Entente. But, I mean, that's that's still okay for us. Have you attacked this guy? Because you're going to move your way up north. Feel wait, 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 wait. Finland joined the Moscow Accord. Okay, interesting. I did not know they... I'm Honestly, I think this is the first time I've ever seen them join the Moscow Accord. I actually didn't even know they could do that. Okay, I'll start with the color war in Nicaragua. Which actually... Oh, no, you're liberal now. Okay, so that actually means that these guys are not going to join another faction. That actually is going to make our lives... Or the, the success of any invasion into... East Turkestan joining Moscow. Okay, Russia's actually getting a lot of allies. More allies than I'd say would be typical, honestly. East Turkestan is in their faction as well. So I'm guessing they've... Did they allow them to get more allies? I, I swore you were not able to get these people in as allies before. Okay, we have we have so much... We have so many hours in Kaiserreich that I feel like if you could get these guys in your faction, I would have known about it. Okay, they are pushing against us. We got decent defense. Apparently we're in multiple combat. How are we in multiple... Oh, because these guys are... Somehow we're in multiple combats. Again, like, that, that's just a, a glitch with Hoi 4 in general. Can't really do much about that. Okay, we could modify Officer Core with you. Max and transfer plus 10% is not bad. 5% more speed. Division speed, coordination. Mass charge, victory or death, reconnaissance plus 15. Or naval invasion. Probably not one. You know, let's go maneuver warfare. I do wish we weren't considered in multiple combats. Because we're, we're definitely... There we go. We're no longer in multiple combats. My unit's pretty decent here. He shouldn't fall apart. How's my guy... How are you guys over here doing? Okay, you're doing fine. The 1938 general election. The Volkswagen term is up and South Africans go to the polls once more. That is to say, white South Africans go to the polls. Although in the Cape Province of South Rhodesia, they are joined by members of the non-white elite, provided they adhere to certain property qualifications. As usual, the race between the National Party and the South African Party, but... The race is between the National Party and the South African Party, but the removal of General J.B.M. Herzog from the leadership of the National Party is a severe upset. Under the newfound leadership of the more radical Dr. Daniel Francois Malan, National pledged that they will... that if they are served with majority, they will abolish monarchy and declare a republic that... At the shortest possible notice, hoping that this is an unambiguous stance that will help them defeat the South African party. So Africa holds its breath. Okay, so you are a national populist. So what, what's the difference here? Political power gain, more weekly stability, war support. That's actually not bad. But Jay, Jan Smuts and the SAP are victorious once more. The liberals on both sides will join our coalition. Are they actually in our coalition now? They're not, but both of them literally have 0% support, so that does not make any difference. Actually, they might have already been in our coalition. It's just that they have literally 0%. Yeah, they, they were in our coalition before, they just had no support at all. Okay, very interesting. I'm going to move you up. Actually, I'm going to move you here. Okay, computer machines, more research. We're at 150. We are going to go up to early mobilization. Or partial mobilization. I always get the, the two mixed up. Following that, I mean, it's 38. You're too expensive. Okay, it, it, you know, we can definitely get the 39 industry tax now. Completely reasonable time to get those done. How, how strong are these units here? Because somehow they have not gotten them to collapse yet. I mean, again, it would be really nice if we were able to... I mean, if we could take Zaragoza from the CNT... You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it, man. Just a little bit. That's gonna, that's gonna make their supplies up here way worse. And in a few days, you'll be connected via railroad. But Zaragoza is a pretty important CNT city. Gets them down, they're still at 92%. But if we can get some allies, if we can just cut CNT in half, it's going to be a major blow to their uh, 
support here. How are these guys doing in our uh, queue? You're almost good to go. I mean, you're still missing like 66 tanks. Which I know are not going to be like easy to come across. Construction. Construction is you. You'll be done on January or June 9th. Okay. That's fine. I, mean, that's, I think that's reasonable. Okay, more Spanish forces are coming in here. I wish you'd just defend this province a little bit more. I'm I'm really tempted just to, to victory point rush a little bit. But I don't know if it would work. Okay, you're moving up to this airport. Push your way in as our goes, but our defense is pretty decent. I think we should be okay. I feel like these guys are just attacking very strangely. I don't really know what, what their plan is. I'm gonna... Eh, I'm gonna try. Just give me a second. I'm gonna move like this and move my way immediately back. Again, this is just to disrupt the AI. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go to Barcelona. I mean, we're already here. Ah, shit! Units are unit. They're, they're units here. Who would have who would have expected this? Okay, but this this should mess up the AI at least a little bit for us. I'm just hoping I have not screwed up our allies' AI, and I'm hoping I've mostly screwed up. Who won? Who won the war down south? Okay, people's vanguard. Fantastic. So the socialist. I mean, okay. I see the socialist could still win. It's just less likely. Ah, yeah, we're going to go for more heavy tank production. Okay, you pushed all these guys onto the islands. Okay, Greece, I know that the AI doesn't think this way, but if you were to allow these guys to stay on Corfu, let them stay on the Ononian Islands, and just put all of your pressure on Athens, you'd win the war, okay? Again, I know the AI doesn't think in, the, in that manner, but I'm going to pull you up. That should move you here. And then I can march my way into Barcelona. Okay, actually, you're marching away to Barcelona now as well. You were down to 85.9. You love to see it. Barcelona has fallen. You're worth one. I think you just stay in Barcelona, honestly. Okay, that was actually really worthwhile. Actually, do we not have enough artillery three pieces for this? We have 302. You guys use 12 a piece. That's okay. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. That, that's that's completely reasonable, I think. You now Valencia. Okay, as soon as we cut them in half, CNT is basically collapsed. I'm I, that, that's what we were looking for. I'm happy we were able to get that done. You can go take Girona. That's fine. What are you guys doing? You're gonna move your units here. So you're moving your way back here, kind of. If you can, I think, victory point rush your way to Valencia, I think you'd win. Okay, war's broken out over in Italy. Then I want you here. Yeah, okay, CNT's collapsed. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to see that has come to fruition. Okay, the Union Affairs, deal with the Protectorate... Okay, so we actually have a lot more options here now. Where's where's that tank? Okay, there's our tank tech reduction. Rapid warfare divisions, B plus ten percent. Wouldn't wouldn't it be bad? What what do we get up here? I mean, there's a lot more options. There's so many options actually now. I mean, hundred political power and ten percent stability. That's pretty hard to, to say no to. You're twenty five political power for free. You're also 10% stability and 100% political power. The next, that's actually also really nice. Okay. A lot of good options for us here. If you want to march away towards Valencia as best we can. You guys up here should have basically no supplies whatsoever. Declaration of the subline or uh, the Army Federation. They... I mean, I know their wars will be happening soon. What what way do they think? They killed you in the, the Entente. Okay. Or the Reichsback. I mean, both of those would be good for us. 
I, I would be happy to see either or. Okay, how are you guys holding up? I mean, you've got to be 15.4. Okay, those, those are lovely numbers. Okay, so Spain is on our side. Either in... I, I Again, that's not true. They're not on the international side. Because they, they could still declare themselves to be uh, neutral. Which would suck. I mean, we do want an allied Spain. But, I mean, a neutral Spain is better than a hostile Spain. I don't think anybody can uh, disagree with that. Naval experience, kind of ass. Night operation panel. Uh, no, we don't even have an air force. This is, don't don't worry about that. Okay, you will be defeated in a moment. Where's General Smuts? He, he's not even in any of these armies. Okay, that, that's my bad. Smuts, I need you here. Thank you. So we have two units here. Middle wait, Middle Africa declare war on somebody. Oh, Middle Africa, that negative 52 sensitive. Oh, okay, Middle Africa is dead. Okay, well, that's a little bit of a setback, but I don't, I don't, I don't look at Bond can I join the international, but I think other than that, nobody down there can really become a, a threat to us. Is that, is that you dead? Yes, okay. Fantastic. An allied Spain, very happy to see it. I mean, look at these units. If you just put one, one, and then hit everybody else here, that would be so much better for us, and it, it's hard to even uh, state. Okay, Nash's take over the Netherlands is okay. Any of these guys we care about? Chromium and Orange Free State. Again, we don't need Chromium. How much does it give? It gives us. It also gives us ten. When I think we have like 500, so I'm, I'm not super concerned with it, to be quite honest with you. I think I think we'll be okay. Okay, Ireland has been defeated. Apparently, it's still not a penalty for world tension. Because you're at war Middle Africa. Middle Africa, yeah, Middle Africa is basically dead. Okay, Kiva's been annexed. I don't know if Middle Africa's collapse is going to impact this at all. I'm going to say probably not. When they've almost won their wars in Central, um... Okay, Von Goring has left. Middle Africa is dead. So goodbye, Middle Africa. We, we hardly knew ye. We get a question, do we want to keep troops down here? I know Portugal could actually declare war on some of these guys in the middle and kind of do their... I, I think it's called the, the Pink Plan, if I'm remembering correctly. Okay, Kenya declared her independence. Borneo, Natal, you are just going to join this army. How are you not completely defeated yet, the homie? I guess all the countries haven't declared their independence yet. That should mean, I believe, one of you should join the Entente, if I'm not... Is this the homie? On her own. Appeal to the French. I think it's the homie. One of, one of them joins the Entente, which... I mean, it's not like they're going to be a big swing one or the other, but... I mean, it's, it's still something, right? How many guns are we down? 500? I think we're okay doing this. Just for the time being. Okay, the start of the Great Trek. The centenary celebration of the Great Trek. When the ancestors of South Africa's boars moved into the interior of South Africa to escape British influence, has been kicked off in the foot of the statue of Jean von Rebeck. This explorer, viewed by many Afrikaners as the founding father of their nation. In Cape Town, the first oxen wagons have already departed under the watchful eye of a large crowd, estimated to be made up of over 100,000 people. Astounding given that Cape Town is considered to be a British city. Chairman of the Great Trek Centenary Committee, National Politician J or H.J. Klopper, uh, owns the first two wagons of the parade and is invited by all Afrikanderdom to partake in the festivities. The Ox Wagon Parade will follow the so-called Pad von Sudafrika to Pretoria, while a smaller contingent will split off at Vikov and instead journey to the location where the Battle of Blood River took place in Natal. 
Over the next few months, the ox wagons of the reenactment will be passing through numerous small towns and larger cities. Robert Connors in classic Volk trend clothing, while the Domini, the Domini, the town priest, will be welcoming them with extensive festivities. So war support goes down for one percent per week. Um, is that just forever? Just forever until I guess in the the event is is finished, which I don't know when that will be. Okay, so you've only got to deal with the Turkestan Republic, which you've almost uh, have defeated now. How's the rest of you guys doing? I mean, oh, you actually took over one of these islands. Fantastic news. Should allow more units to move their way down here. Okay, the International have sent some volunteers down here. I guess that makes sense. They're no longer at war with Ireland. Are you all... No, okay. Actually, are you a puppet of the French? No, you're probably the British. Okay. I was, I was wondering because you are, um, totalist. You have five divisions here now. That's actually not nice. All right, then, like, what else? Today, I mean, it's 38. I don't know if anybody else is really going to be switching sides at this point. I mean, okay, Italy's all sudden volunteers down. But no. I, I could have sworn that was an Italian division. You should be okay here. You know, I'm going to send one unit up here for a quick second. I just want to at least see what these guys in the Noni are actually doing. Okay, next up. 1% recruit population and 5% consumer goods. Pretty good. We'll, we'll take that one next. This is for Central America, right? Nope, it, 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 it's, that's just a complete collapse of... Uh, Middle Africa. And it doesn't generate any penalties for us here. Gabon. I guess we can look at the ideology map mode. I mean, nobody is socialist yet, but we'll, we'll kind of see if that remains to be the case. Also, Uganda is absolutely freaking massive. Who's supposed to own Uganda? Ost Africa. Okay. We got big old Uganda. Kenya's looking okay. Zanzibar's even taking a little chunk of territory for themselves. They're all worth West Africa. Because you're at war with Southwest Africa. And I think at some point they will align themselves back up with Germany. I'll join the Reich's Pact. Okay, you've gone to war with uh, Uganda here. Okay. He also in South Africa. This this actually could be beneficial for us. The gigantic German colony of Central Africa stretching a continuous stretch of land from the Gold Coast of Zanzibar has collapsed in on itself. Once once the pride of the German nation has transformed to possibly the largest anarchy and violence the world has ever seen. South West Africa, or Dutch South West Africa, is no exception to this rule. With the white German settlers bolstered by Afrikaners who moved into the region over the course of the 19th century, desperately attempting to suppress the native revolt against their rule. The fact is that South West Africa has for a long time been a strategic goal for South Africa in between 1915 and 1919. It was us who had been administrating the territory. Calls for raising our risings throughout South Africa that this is a time to undo a historical injustice. Having to turn South a West Africa back over to the Han rule after we had won it with South African blood because the war was lost in Europe. They call on the Prime Minister to send the Defense Force to South West Africa, put down the NATO revolt and integrate the colony into our nation. A telegraph message to Widhawk has been drafted opposing a South Africa intervenes to suppress the, uh, the Nibelanders. In return for them accepting a South West Africa will, uh, this time permanently fall under the stewardship of West Africa, or South Africa. Yeah, contact them. I mean, if I could get a nice little bit of territory, I would be happy with it. And again, you should... Where is it? Is it, is it this, um, this option here? South Africa does not exist. Middle Africa aggression has been contained. Yeah, so you want to take over territory here. And I'll help you out with that if I can. South Africa acquiesces. Good news. The authorities of Windhawk uh, have recognized that South African intervention is the best in their interest. And convey that they will welcome our army to come to their aid. The first units have already set foot in South West Africa for the first time since the humiliation in 1919. On the home front, prominent nationalists are expressing their support for Springboks coming to the aid of the belligerent Afrikaners and their German brothers in South Africa against the heathen foe, while those aligned with the General Smuts are speculating about the next step towards realizing greater South Africa. 
The new opposition comes from the far left, the ISL, the ICU, and the smaller ANC, who will decline the action as flagrant disrespect for the self-determination of the Nabilan people. Okay, well, with that, I think it's a good time for us to end our episode here. So thank everybody for watching. And as an anthem, if you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. Now, enjoy, close thumbs down. If you want to see uh, more, subscribe, and goodbye.